Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 4, subject general science, chapter 13, air pollution, part 4. So, in this lesson, what did we learn? Just to revise, we learned what is air pollution. Air pollution means when we introduce gases, dust particles, smokes or fumes or even odor which is harmful to all living things, we say that the air is polluted. Pollution affects the natural balance of air. Then we learned about what is air quality index what are the main harmful gases that can be introduced that acts as air pollutants carbon monoxide ozone lead nitrogen dioxide particulate matter sulfur dioxide methane then what causes air pollution there are natural causes and man-made causes natural causes are dust methane forest fire volcanoes Man-made air pollution causes are emission from the factories, power plants, etc. Pollution by automobiles, crop burning, landfills, spraying chemicals in the crops and bursting crackers. So continuing with the lesson, I'll be reading out from page number 112 of your textbook. Please follow. So, today's class, we are going to see what are the effects of air pollution. What are the effects of air pollution? There are different effects means the result of air pollution. What after the air is polluted, when we breathe the air that is polluted, what are the changes that is happening? That is what we will be learning in effects of air pollution. So, the main effects of air pollution are ill health acid rain smog or soot so we'll see what are these three effects first is ill health ill health means our health being uh, we are getting diseases because of the air pollution is nothing but ill health so breathing pollutants causes diseases it causes many kinds of diseases children uh, it children are affected badly because the children's they are um, they are very prone to diseases okay they are not very immune to different kinds of diseases so if they start breathing the polluted air which is not good for our health they are the first ones who are affected in adults it may cause cancer of lungs heart disease and so on so here there we uh, certain cancers of the lung heart diseases are all caused because of the air pollution only you when you uh, breathe in the smoke or when you breathe in the polluted air you suddenly start coughing because our body is not ready to accept that bad quality air okay so we start coughing right and uh, there is one picture of the lung cancer how our lungs will get affected with the cancer lung cancerous cancers could be very dangerous to our health okay next is acid rain acid rain as the term itself says it is nothing but as to say in simple words there will be lot of pollutants in the air isn't it children like a uh, lot of sulfur dioxides or uh, lead or nitrogen dioxide they are all present in the air now when it rains that water droplets get mixed with these acids and become acidic okay now when this acidic water falls on the earth it causes lot of effects like it can kill animals and plants it can uh, cause lot of skin uh, it can cause skin cancer in human beings like this it has a very lot of uh, ill effects okay so condensation and formation of rain clouds happens in the atmosphere when the air is polluted the pollutants will react with the water for example sulfur dioxide combines with the water and makes the water drops acidic such polluted rain is called acid rain it harms the animals kills plants etc 
acid rain also goes into the soil and pollutes the ground water also we are dependent on this ground water also right if the acidic rain it enters the soil it can affect the ground water also okay now uh, here is one picture showing the acid rain how that it gets mixed and it has the effects of it can kill animals and plants which get uh, it and can even cause a lot of uh, skin cancer even in the human beings then the last one smog or soot smog or soot first we will see what is the soot soot is the ash or the black layer that is left behind when we burn coal or wood now when we burn coal or wood a black when you burn anything children if you burn anything there will be a black color black layer of smoke that is left behind have you been to a place where uh, there are uh, thermal power stations now soot is nothing but it's the ash or the black layer that is left behind when we burn coal or wood so have if you have seen a thermal uh, station power station there is a lot of coal ash in the air this coal ash when we breathe also harms our lungs okay that is about the soot right so soot means that is a black color uh, uh, the black smoke that comes out when we burn something that is called the soot then what is smog as the word says s m o g smog means smoke mixed with the fog smog is smoke mixed with the fog okay the smoke will already be present in the air and because of the reduced temperature fog formations will take place fog is natural but when it gets mixed with the smoke it becomes smog smog or uh, fog is natural in very cold weather but when there is smoke it mixes with the air and becomes a dense layer of smog when we breathe in this smog it damages our lungs and also irritates the eyes okay it also irritates our eyes and it is very harmful okay next is there is one uh, let us think activity in your page number 113 so whenever air is very polluted outside we do not go outside but is the air in our house safe air inside our house is also polluted it is called indoor air pollution in villages and towns some people use kerosene coal or wood to cook food okay these cooking methods are harmful because they make air inside the house polluted okay that smog or the, the soot is let out in when you burn something isn't it so because of that soot only the what the air inside the house also can get polluted when an adult smokes cigarettes indoor the other inhales that smoke they become passive smokers that is very very danger dangerous kind of smoking okay they if uh, the they smoke inside the house if elders smoke inside the house the others also in the house can uh, inhale that smoke workers in the window uh, less room have poorer sleep habits and lower overall quality of life than their counterparts household chemicals dust mites paints fungals fungal growths pollens etc are trapped inside our house lack of ventilation in our houses make the indoor air polluted so you should have a good ventilation ventilation means lot of windows and you should keep the windows open so that the bad air goes out and we get the fresh air inside okay so i hope you have understood till here the effects of air pollution in the next class we'll continue with how to prevent the air pollution and what is air quality index stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you